Good evening, this is Akashwani Kohima. I'm Nene M. Hang Singh with the Evening Bulletin. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan has emerged as transformative initiative in revolutionizing India's infrastructure. Union Minister of Tribal Affairs Jual Oram arrives in Nagaland on a three-day visit, discusses various developmental works with Chief Minister Nipi Rio. Association of Minority Tribes of Nagaland says they are in support of implementation of RIN and Assam Rifles organizes national integration tour for students and teachers. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has lauded the completion of three years of the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan, stating that the initiative has emerged as a transformative in revolutionizing India's infrastructure. In a social media post, Mr. Modi said that Gati Shakti has significantly enhanced multimodal connectivity, driving faster and more efficient development across sectors. He added that the seamless integration of various stakeholders has led to boosting logistics, reducing delays and creating new opportunities for several people. The Prime Minister also said that with Gati Shakti, the country is adding speed to fulfill the vision of a Vixit Bharat and it will encourage progress, entrepreneurship and innovation. Union Minister of Tribal Affairs Jual Oram is on a three-day visit to Nagaland from today. On his arrival, the Union Minister called on Chief Minister Nipi Rio at his private residence in Sovima. On behalf of the people of Nagaland, Mr. Rio extended gratitude for his visit and for his continued support for the state. He wished the Union Minister a pleasant stay in the state. The Union Minister also visited the Durga Temple at Dimapur and offered prayers to Ma Durga. Speaking to Akashvani News Kohima exclusively, Mr. Oram apprised of his meeting Meeting with Chief Minister Rio. He said they discussed about various developmental works within the state. He also mentioned that he had discussions regarding fund utilization of the Eklavia model residential school. I have come to Chief Minister Rio and फिर आपको सना है यहां एक लोग का मॉडल रेसिडेंशियल स्कूल और जो नेशनल एसटी फाइनेंस कॉर्पोरेशन में दिया हुआ पैसा उसका यूटिलाइजेशन से लेके बाकी प्रोग्राम का फंड्स का यूटिलाइजेशन के बारे में भी डिस्कशन हुआ Later, he also had a meeting with the Marwari Samaj. Mr. Oram will visit Zuniboto tomorrow, wherein he will have a meeting with the district administration and other departmental officers to review various central government schemes implemented in the district. He will also take a site visit in the district, including interaction with local leaders and organizations. On the last and third day of his visit, Mr. Oram will attend the inauguration program of the new community hall at Indisan Village in Dimapur, followed by a state-level review meeting at Dimapur DC Conference Prince Hall and a press meet. Representing the Association of Minority Tribes of Naglan, President Kuki Inpi Naglan L. Singsit said they are in support of implementation of Register of Indigenous Inhabitants of Naglan, RIN, by the state government, which the Naglan cabinet has approved to start implementing the RIN on 20th September 2024. He said they have spoken out in support of RIN in both the district and state level consultations. Mr. Singsit mentioned that they have internalized themselves so much in Naglan that they have been a part of the Naga freedom also all along. We are no way against RIN as such. As a matter of fact, RIN is not coming out in one day. It is not even a decision of one case. We all know RIN was voted long, long back, long back in the century, five, six years back. So there have been lots of deliberations, consultations at the government level, calling all the tribal hoppers also in Kohima several times. There was state level green coordination committees also, district level green coordination committees also. So we have been participating in all of these processes. Mr. Singsit expressed that they are the citizens of the state and are ready to follow whatever the government says and to treat them in the same way as other tribes of Nagaland. The Assam Rifles organized a national integration tour for 20 students and four teachers from Meluri in Pak District. The tour, spanning several cities including Bengaluru, Belgaum and Delhi, concluded with a flag-in ceremony held at Kenguruse Hall in Kohima today. During the ceremony, Major General Manish Kumar SM, Inspector General of Assam Rifles North, commended the participants and emphasized the importance of travel in fostering an understanding of India's cultural diversity. Now you will be our ambassadors to tell others, to tell your elders, to tell your peers, to tell your younger ones to go out and explore the world, to see what Nagaland is overall part of. 
so that you pass it on to those and they pass it on to you because you are the nation builders you are the tomorrow's engineers doctors sportsmen film personalities musicians artists you all are those the nation is going to be defined by you tomorrow and therefore the more you understand about what you are going to represent tomorrow you have to understand that you will be representing your state nagaland you will be representing your country india you have to know it not just going out of nagaland you have to go within nagaland also the event included a short film on the tour memento presentations and experience sharing sessions the event highlighted that the tour aimed to broaden the horizon of students from remote areas of nagaland exposing them to india's rich history and modern advancements the students visited important landmarks including military memorials training centers and cultural sites gaining insight into the nation's heritage and the indian army's operations This is Akashvani Kohima giving you the news. For quick news update, follow us on our X handles AIR News Alerts and AIR underscore Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. Ministry of Home Affairs has requested all central departments and administrations in the states and union territories to fly the United Nations flag along with the national tricolor atop all important buildings in the country on 24th of this month to mark the United Nations Day. The directive issued by the ministry states that the United Nations flag is not to be flown on the Rashtrapati Bhavan, Vice President's House, Parliament House, Supreme Court Building, Raj Bhavans, Raj Nivases or buildings housing legislative councils, legislative assemblies police and high courts across the country International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction is being observed today the day highlights the crucial role of education in reducing disaster risk globally this year's theme focuses on empowering the next generation for a resilient future in his message on the occasion UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged global action to protect protect children who are increasingly vulnerable to climate driven disasters Mr Guterres called for universal early warning systems disaster resilient schools and involvement of young people in building resilience Jumukedima men's team emerged as the champion of the ultimate table tennis 27th interdistrict and state table tennis championship 2024 while Kohima women's team walked away with the champion trophy for third consecutive time concluded on 11th of this month at Kohima indoor table tennis stadium speaking as a special guest in the closing ceremony deputy director veterinary and animal husbandry dr Asalia KJ exhorted the participants to be committed dedicated and punctual to their choice of sport and pursue excellence Dr. Kejia lamented on the absence of table tennis coach in Nagaland for the last 30 years and mentioned that friendly neighboring states have been brought in by the association to continue coaching the young talents in the sport. Altogether, 12 districts participated in the championship with 130 athletes vying for the coveted title. And now to end the news, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan has emerged as transformative initiative in revolutionizing India's infrastructure. Union Minister of Tribal Affairs Jwal Oram arrives in Nagaland on a 3-day visit, discusses various developmental works with Chief Minister Nipi Rio. Association of Minority Tribes of Nagaland says they are in support of implementation of RIN and Assam Rifles organizes national integration tour for students and teachers. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Have a pleasant night.